Hello guys, welcome back to the Vera Projects. Today we're going to be putting up a Spalding in-ground basketball hoop. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to put it. And now we are going to open it and build it first, and then we're going to dig. Hey, you're big! Where's that? Some flat portals, I think. Okay. Alright okay, guys, so, there's three pipes, right, that you got to put together, and it has this indication, like a little indent. And, uh, this is the bottom middle and top okay so it's uh it's really difficult to put it in i'm not gonna lie i've given it all i got to bring it all the way down but i feel like i could go a little bit more but i just can't give it anymore um if you notice here you're gonna want to slam it on a piece of wood to get it in there make sure you don't do it directly on the cement because it's going to destroy it but it kind of shows you there, it's already cutting into the wood. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the, uh, I don't know if we're going to do the hole first or we're going to build the, uh, the backboard. So we'll see where we go from that. All right, so I just put in this piece here. So when it's standing up, this is the piece that the lever that controls it to go up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up now. Alright guys, so you see here we placed the pull in, we dug in two feet. I used one of these uh, levels to make sure that it's perfectly level on both sides, right? So what do we use? We use this foam, right? Instead of using concrete mix, uh, because sometimes, you know, we move it around or we might take it with us when we move. So I ended up buying this thing called Post Fix and uh, it's really good. It's a three minute fast dry and it, it works very well so it's been about a minute now and it's already holding on its own so now we're gonna go ahead and start building the backboard all right so we took all the parts out of the box itself some of the pieces are here uh, what I did is I started uh, I read the instructions here the instructions are somewhat clear I would say it, it took me about 10 minutes to really understand what the heck was going on here. Um, the best showcase I could do is show you how I built it because, like I said, the, the instructions are kind of mediocre. Um, so what I did is, I first thing first, I added this plate here, which is what adds the, uh, the rim on the other side. So I could show you what that looks like. Okay. Um... Then I added the short poles versus the long poles in here. Uh, the spring goes in between both of these. And there's, you know, a, an additional uh, pipe, I guess, you put in between the screws itself because this is supposed to move up and down for you to go ahead and adjust the height. So just to show you closer what it looks like, I have some spacers in here as well and some spacers in here right so i'm going to give you a little bit of an angle different angles to kind of show you what it looks like overall when this part is done So that's pretty much what it's looking like right now. Um, I'm gonna see if I can go ahead, maybe uh, see what the next steps are. All right guys, so uh, I'm starting to put the rim on here, uh, the backboard I mean. I placed the backboard on top of the ladder and I angled it so I could first put them in this way, right? And once I did that, and I put two of them in, the lower frames here, um, I was able to go ahead and, and put in the, the nuts. 
this is kind of what it's looking like right now. I haven't tightened it yet, but I put these uh, these spacers in here on both sides, and you can see I did the same up there uh, on the spacers as well here. Okay, and uh, that's kind of where I'm at. The instructions said for me to do this before I put the post in in the ground, but I ended up doing it the reverse. I you know I already had to pull up and. I put it on top of a ladder and pretty similar, but you could do it however you want. It's probably helpful for you to use two people to do this instead of one. Guys, I wanted to show you that I put the adjustment here of the height. You can see I added spacers there to add that additional touch. So I also went ahead and added the rim. You can see that first you got to put in this plate and then the spring and then the nut and you've got to put uh, this uh, this piece here, I can't remember the name of it, the washer. So right, that's very tight now. All I got to do is put the, uh, the netting on and the framing on top around. So that's my next step. All right guys, so it's all finished up. You can see what it's looking like. You can also see down here how I cut off all the foam that was there, put a little bit of dirt so the grass can actually grow. Definitely a fun project. I wish the instructions were a little bit more clear but in the end I was able to figure it out so I hope that this video will also help you figure it out more not just from the instructions from the paper Thank you once again for watching the Vero Projects. Go ahead and subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And I hope to see you next time with another great video of some other products that we have in mind. Have a good one.